Okay, so let's let's touch upon that even more. You think about uh, loved ones passing away with AI technology now. Would you would you want to be able to hear the voice of I don't know, let's say your 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 dead parents Ooh. or whatever to be able to have AI go back and try to find recordings now for no. older folks maybe harder because there's not a lot of audio recordings of things, but the younger generations, you know, even like my son, you know, I'm all on the internet. I'm doing the radio show with you guys. There's a lot of audio of me on the internet. So it could be done for me, but would you want to, if you could, mm. would you want to hear the voice of your parents? I have a cassette tape with about 45 seconds of my father mm -hmm. who died in 1984. To me, that means the most. Yeah. To have an AI recreate that, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't mean anything. You'd be yeah. stuck in the. You'd be stuck in what in the film they call it the Uncanny Valley. Right? The Uncanny where, Valley. Uncanny Valley. It's where it's that uneasy feeling that something is just not quite right with something you see or hear. So I can only imagine that your mind knows you're listening to your parent. But deep down, you know, it's not them or you know that it's been done in AI, right? It's just that uneasy feeling you get when you see something that's done in AI or you hear something that's done in AI that gives you this called the uncanny valley. Okay, but, but here, Sean, answer my question because Andy did. Would you want to? No, I don't think so. John? No. Yeah. My, my, my issue, I mean, we've sort of been through this, right? All of us are old enough to remember Millie Vanilli. All of us are, I mean, I'm not, I'm not Frank, you're talking about AI and dead parents and you got to bring up Millie Vanilli of all people. It's a great okay, tie in it, it, the just, segment. Can, come, on, come on. Can you guys, let me bridge I, this. I make some popcorn for this because <laughs> right, go, go on. I want to hear more about No, this. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying Tupac. They yeah. did it with Tupac even. Well, yeah, they, they did. took yeah. That was they, classic, they've done though. bro, but they've done this to us in media with music and the the other forms of art. AI is digital art. Okay, but it is now, learned. How does this half milli vanilli in it? I see what is it is it is like the the whole Tupac thing and how they just cre can create, right? I mean that's it, they it, it's we as humans learn more of us learn from visual and in audible stimulus than we do from just textual reading, right? We know sure. this. So if the the presentation can be done in a form factor that we appreciate or is easier for our brains to handle, that's the concept behind AI. Hence, we were longing for Tupac. They put a hologram Wait a of it. Second. Before that, we were looking for a good looking dudes, not too fat older dudes singing great songs, but Milli Vanilli popped up. Ta-da! It was an easier package to handle. So you're telling me if that's I what I'm to saying, learn, if I wanted to learn like advanced routing techniques with with like BGP and AWS and Azure, if Tupac was my instructor, I would actually I, learn maybe. Better? And and if you were smoking a joint with him and, and Snoop Dogg playing in the background and had some VR glasses on, you would really be able to get immersive. Don't hit that button to mute that. Come right, on, brother. let that stuff ride.